The Digital Mineral Library is a project where we take samples that are traditionally stored on the shelves of the Geological Survey of Western Australia, and there'll be thousands of samples in this format, in bags, uh, systematically stored and collected. We're generating the data here in the John Delater Centre. We're sourcing the samples from the Geological Survey of Western Australia, which is a collaborator in this project. Uh, the Geological Survey uh, has been mapping the state for uh, decades and over the last 20 years have been systematically collecting samples and analyzing them in our center. What we're doing is actually creating a digital library of standard rock types which don't necessarily have geochemical anomalies and that will provide industry with an understanding of what background looks like what rocks look like when they're actually not mineralized. So I think that's important for uh, the, the minerals industry in their exploration uh, process. The importance of this project was that it allows us to take uh, detailed uh, data from an instrument, be able to uh, manipulate it into a frame which could be used both nationally and internationally as well as for researchers in Western Australia. The implications of that is that if we can do that across the whole of the organisation at, at an instrument level, then we change the whole process of accessibility and timeliness of data in the institution. We embarked on this project because we realised that uh, only a relatively small percentage of the data that's generated and analyzed in research laboratories actually makes it into the public domain. The conventional publication route is, is uh, a very effective way of academics to get information to each other and that is the way the system works. What we're trying to do is to open up these data sets to the broader research community so that they can explore them and figure out how they might be useful in their own needs. Research data is increasing in size and complexity and I've worked at universities for a long time and I've seen over that period of time how important it is for researchers to work together with data that's already been produced by others. So for me it's a, a fundamental thing about this information is available and a lot of it is government funded and therefore it should be available to everybody to use and to make new discoveries that everybody can benefit from. I believe that that's the way of the future. Uh, industry partnering with the, the government and the academic research community is going to be critical. We need to realize that Australia is in competition for attracting investment dollars around the world and we have to be able to provide a better source of information to explorers so that they will stay here and they will explore our country and invest in our country.